All right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we are ready to roll here, I do believe. I'm going to make sure I'm pulling in the uh, audio from the correct location here. It's time to shake off all the rust here. Uh, as, oh, hey, the uh, the green screen is even working. i got to adjust the camera a bit. Uh, but we're going to shake off all the rust here. Uh, come on, boy. There you go. Okay, we're going to get ready to roll here as we begin Season 4 of NGS. Our first game here tonight for me, Ghost Dunk, is hashtag not throwing versus pork slap. This is Division D East. This is the first game here uh, for uh, both teams, I do believe. And let's uh, give a little uh, intro here. Welcome all back to NGS. <laughs> we go production value baby all right we're gonna have these two teams facing off let's give a little uh, intro here uh, hashtag not throwing is a new team uh but some members are from uh ngs in previous seasons uh d markon and jake bot were both on a team called the ghost clones uh and in that jake bot was voted the top solo laner uh in division c west which was their division at the time so uh, we're going to see how well he performs here. Uh, Pork Slap, however, is a complete wild card. They are brand new to the scene, and so I can't wait to see how they play. And without further ado, I'm going to see if teams are ready. And then we'll get right into it. I think I have some messages here. No, I don't have any. Okay, just the uh, people. All right, we're going to get going here. And the first map... is Battlefield of Eternity. There we go. The button took a while to uh, get going there, but here we go into the band here, and I can't wait to see what the meta looks like uh, for these teams right here. Um, and for those of you uh, who haven't seen NGS before, NGS is an, oh, wow, Maltheo band right off the bat here. I feel like that means, uh, that kind of snap pick probably means that uh, hashtag not throwing. I'm probably going to say not throwing. Uh, not throwing is going to go a bit frontline heavy, a bit tank heavy. And they don't want anyone to mess with that. They want to win uh, a solo lane, I believe. Uh, so they're trying to push hard there. And Tracer immediately banned out. They do not want to deal with Tracer. Everyone else is still on the table. Phoenix, Maev, Medivh, uh, uh, who else? Um, Alfurion. Um, all these top picks are still uh, eligible to be had. And Artanis immediately picked up there, going straight for the Artanis race here. And that probably explains the Malthael uh, pick from <clears throat> not throwing here. I got to get used to this not throwing team. Pork Slap, on the other hand, I am already used to that name. I am all about that name, Pork Slap. Hell of a name. Gray Man immediately answering for the uh, race here on this Immortal. Uh, Stukov grabbed a very good healer, very good for zoning. Uh, Malfurion, of course, still up. I, do, I expect Malfurion to be grabbed here in this next rotation. Otherwise, he will definitely be banned out uh, in the next round here. Johanna and D... What? What is happening? We are off to a crazy start this first season. NGS. And I will say uh, that uh, previously um, in the offseason in NGS, D Markon made a post saying they're looking for a team that is all about having fun and having fun they absolutely are they are going for a triple warrior comp right off the bat hanzo banned out immediately for the race he had to choose between hanzo and alfurion and i don't know how they're going to counter this i mean tychus might be the obvious choice here uh, against the diva johanna and artanis but you know hey maybe this is something they've run in the past and and it's worked well and scrims are hey maybe they're just going nuts here, you know, and and throwing your opponent off, especially uh, uh, if they're not used to playing like against crazy stuff, could very well be a viable strat here for not throwing. So pork slap, probably scratching their heads, wondering what to do here. Um, you know, you say Tychus, but what else? What else could you possibly? Run? I mean, it's, it's really lucky they didn't grab two ranged up here right up front. So mouth lyric immediately banned out. Those are the big percent base damage people, and I would have to wonder. Do they have more uh, warriors coming for not throwing? So we'll see. Um, 
Diablo and Lee Ming grabbed up here. Okay, so no Tigus. They're not going to be uh, brought into the percent damage, perhaps, trap. Uh, maybe Pork Slap uh, has experimented with that before. Maybe they don't have a Tychus player. However, Diablo, no slash himself after, I think, it's either 13 or 16. He it's 13, yes. He has percent damage on his Q if he collides with terrain. So that could be very painful to all three of those heroes. Sonya, there it is! Five, come on. Hat trick, hat trick, you gotta do it. All right, I mean, I, you know what? I will say a support would be okay. Four warriors on a support. Are they gonna go all out? They do! And they go with the support warrior. Everyone tune in right now. Everyone go out, tweet about this. Hashtag uh, Nexus Gaming, I think is the hash underscore tag there. Go out to the, the your discords. Tell them what they are about to see here. This is unprecedented in NGS and not throwing, living up to their, uh, not their name, but their mission statement for this season. Beautiful. And I'm looking up. We've only got two viewers. I want to see that number get way higher uh, up there. So I got to. <laughs> D Mark on promises that they are not hashtag not throwing blaze grabbed up here. So I feel like they need a little bit of beefy themselves. Gray main. I wonder if he's going to go Cursed Bullet, maybe? So, oh my god. I'm going to just real quick. I've just got to tell the word I'm typing out. Uh, uh, we are going to go into the game here. I'm speechless. This is insane. And, of course, Jake bought on that Sonya. Uh, I think something about winning the solo lane. No. has n nothing to do with that. <laughs> oh, my God. Um yeah, no, all strategies are just completely out the window at this point. Uh, <laughs> Holy cow. Boy, I, how do you, how do you handle, I mean, I guess you just handle it like a normal comp. The only real problem is Sony is your, Sony is your main, and Artanis are your main damage. Uh, I mean, they're going to do plenty of damage. They can definitely kill people. However, I think you might be able to burst them down. Do they? And they've got Blaze for the stun. They've got Diablo for the stun against Sonya Spin. So uh, that could be a factor for sure. But we are going to go ahead and get into this game. Uh, on the side of heaven, we have the Maniacs. Hashtag not throwing our... Aranea on the Diva, Archangel playing the Artanis, Demarkon on the Tiro, Bad Rudely playing the Johanna, I believe, yes. Uh, and Sonia, that Jake bot up top. Meanwhile, on the side of hell, we've got Pork Slap. A harsh introduction to their first NGS with PS Poober uh, over here. Oh, Pork Slap, duh. Uh, Poober up on the Blaze, Node down on the Li Ming. El Burro on the Greyman, El Duque, 85 on the Diablo, and the Captain Gregoris coming up with the Stukov. So we're going to see the failed swap coming up there. Uh, Ariana, Arania taking a ton of damage. Oh, down to seven. They got the milk mech down to seven health just now. Uh, the shields come out. And they just kick, kick, there it goes. Finally, the mech pops, and uh, Diva Pilot comes out. The silence out in the middle here, and they are taking a ton of damage here. Uh, this oh, D Markon gets flipped, and the Q's out and survives. An excellent work there by uh, D Markon of the material there. Uh, meanwhile, we've got the Blaze up top here, Poober, uh, and Sonia is having themselves a good old time up here. And meanwhile, though. Archangel, they're just battling it out, but their health pools are actually getting surprisingly low. Diva's trying desperately trying to get that mech back, but uh, yeah, this is uh, 
D Marga is definitely taking a lot of damage. I think that's going to be rough for Tyrael here. Uh, El Duque, though, really getting burst down. Everyone for oh, excellent focus fire coming out from not throwing here, but the silence going down from the Stukov drives them all back, and uh, El Duque is going to go ahead and tap and come back here. Well, let's take a look at the talents here. Uh, pro moves, interesting choice here, maybe for the Blaze Fire. Uh, there, ooh, a big swap there on Elboro, but Greymane jumps through, still has his jump and cues on out, and he's going to be just fine. Meanwhile, let's see, Loss of Hope, War Paint, pretty standard all around. Uh, Endurance Stimpak, very unusual here for Blaze. Blaze getting wrecked here by the Sonya. Not a surprise. Blaze usually wants to stand back and not really try and trade a whole lot uh, with the Sony. I think Blaze definitely loses against the Sony in most situations here, but they're going to go ahead and take this bottom camp here on not throwing. Power Hungry coming out from Leeming, and of course, Devils do. Power Hungry definitely need on here, but there's the flip and the stun onto Archangel, and Artanis goes down. Here's the self-destruct coming out from the Diva. Not sure what they're trying to do there, except give the camp over to uh, Pork Slap. So they're going to go ahead and take this here. Diva trying to contest. The boops are not there, and they're going to go ahead and grab this camp here on the side of Pork Slap. So we've got... Uh, one kill, uh, two kills to zero here on the side of Pork Slap here. So first blood and a ha half a level of experience going over to them. Big Slap comes down. And Arnie is, Arnie is uh, going to get mecked out. And D Markon not going to be able to queue out in time. Tyrio goes down. Johanna tries to get a condemn. And the Tyrio trait is not there. Oh, the swap from Archangel just barely misses. But so far it's looking that like... Uh, not throwing is having a tough time uh, abusing those health pools from the damage from uh, Pork Slap. And they're going to go ahead and get started on this Immortal right away. They're really burning it down. Greyman, of course, and Leeming going to do a ton of damage here, especially in this early. Biba is going to come here and just disrupt everybody, try to get some people onto the stun circles. Uh, Johanna out of mana and almost out of health, but El Duque kicks a stun from the Immortal. Tries to get out. The silence goes down to zone. El Duque is looking for a Q out. Is not going to come up in time. He's going to be able to walk out. Or is he? He's taking a ton of damage. The swap comes out down to 22 health. And El Duque survives. Uh, the turnaround there coming out from not throwing. But their health pools are looking real low. And without a healer, uh, they don't. Ev nobody but Blaze and Sonya really has much self-sustain here. Except for Laws of Hope from Johanna. And even then, uh, only once every 40 seconds. Uh, so, uh, tough uh, wrote a hoe for them for not having a support. Tyrael just not really cutting it. It allows you, having a support in Haas allows you to stay in fights uh, and allows you to sustain. So, not throwing to, to make this strat work, they're going to have to blow people up pretty quickly. And Diablo is going to be a do, is doing a good job of uh, peeling, and they're doing a good job of surviving so far on this. And the Immortal is going to totally go over to Pork Slap. All right, the immortal is going to fall here as Arania. I don't know. Arania? I need to find out how to pronounce uh, their name. Uh, Diva's going to be popped out of her mech, but they're going to have a half shield immortal pushing bottom. And the siege damage on the side of uh, Pork Slap is so much better than that of uh, Not Throwing. I think that's going to be Not Throwing's. Uh, one of their big problems besides it's going to be not having a support and not having the push here. And the gray man, Lee Ming, Jake bot, there's nothing he can do, but defend this as the immortal pushes here. And I have to imagine they're going to, if they've got the minion support here, they're going to get a fort out of this. Uh, I think they're, they're not even rotating up here on the side of not throwing, but yeah, they're going to go ahead and back off. They don't have the minion support here. They're going to grab the camp here and try and help them push into this. Meanwhile, uh, looks like they're going to start their own push in the bottom here, but I think watch here uh, at the lack of siege damage. And they're going to be able to just barely even get a wall, but the flip onto D Markon from El Duque really proving his metal. The tower shots take him out. Excellent defense of El Duque. Who's next? <laughs> He's just pulling him in one after the other. Johanna, though, has the iron skin and steps out unscathed with the swap coming in from our tans. El Duque far up. But here comes the rotation on the side of Pork Slap. Bad Rudy gets flipped over. Everyone's saying, get out. Arnie has got... Arrhenia has got the bomb, but she's going to get burst out of mech, decides not to use it this time, and she's just going to go ahead and walk away.
DeMarcon coming back here after that Tyrael death. Meanwhile, though, Blaze pushing this camp way in. But Pooper taking a ton of damage. Jake by here. Artanis, I missed the kill down bottom here. It was a Stukov finishing off. But I have to imagine the Leeming Orm seeing a big deal. Pooper manages to get out. But Jake Bot proving his worth here up in the solo lane as Sonya. So Tens coming out here. Combustion coming down. Uh, Gray Man. Hmm. Curse Bullet. I don't know about that one. Uh, Wave of Force for Leeming and Apoc for Diablo. So Combustion into Apoc could be a really good combo, but Pooper getting real low. Jake Bot not able to finish that off. Probably did not have his Q up his spear. Not able to Ancient Spear that Blaze. They're going to grab this camp right away. Artanis going to start on this camp all by himself. Going to take it a little later uh, than normal. Sonya up here trying to get the soak, trying to get 10 desperately. Uh, I don't know. If, it looks like they're going to try and maybe defend here. You know, if they can survive this uh, long enough, you know, they can at least like, yeah, they're going to push him off it for a little bit. This bomb, not going to push him off for too long. Really kind of a waste of a bomb here. But are any uh, uh, going around getting that... Uh, uh, shield onto everybody. The uh, Tannis finally grabs that. Uh, uh, Arenia taking a ton of damage from the Diablo. The mech goes down from one more auto attack, but uh, Grayman and Stukov taking a ton of damage. Of course, is in trouble. He's going to have to back off, and Archangel comes in for the kill and gets it, but the Apoc comes down. Everyone's getting super low. Without a support, they're not going to be able to heal it up. They not, well, then neither team has supports here at this point, but El Burrow's out of mana. So is Li Ming. There's not much that Node and Burrow can do except come in here and auto attack this minion. Power Hungry is not giving Node... Uh, the mana that she needs in time tends uh, grab judgment for Tyrael trying to abuse the relative squishiness of the teams here as well as the leap it's going to be shield into judgment into judgment into shield into leap but oh here comes Sonya goes in there and kills Grammy and finds a very low health and everybody is out of mana on the side of uh, Porks up with 55 damage left here. Gregorius is going to cry and come here and maybe get some kind of poke on here, but it's not going to let it happen. Poober is going to come up here and throw the oil slick, and it's going to do it. They get the uh, immortal. Uh, but meanwhile, El Duque is in trouble here. Node is, is coming in and going to throw the one. Then the amazing judgment. Lee Ming steps up way too far in this. Node probably going to fall here. Diva comes in and confirms the kill. I feel like. Uh, Pork Slap is not realizing the benefit that they have. They had that Immortal by quite a lot. They could have simply backed and reset and come in and just wipe the floor with them because they did not have a support. But instead, uh, Stukov stays up way in front there on their Immortal. And they managed to just barely get it, but not without the cost. Uh, Arnania is going to get real now here they're gonna bomb it away the uh orbital laser from artanis comes out so orbital laser into judgment into shield into leap is a pretty powerful but apoc tries to get everybody in the same place but el duque taking a ton of damage from everybody focusing down meanwhile blaze and sonia are up top Li ming had to come in here and they try to take that down a man so uh, people asking what the hell of this draft is. This ha this draft is the hell hashtag not throwing is what it is. So we're going to see how they do here. Arania. Oh, the big swap going out of Goris. And Goris really proving to be the weak point here. Um, the, oh, my God. The arm pushes uh, pushes him into space. But Artanis gets two in trying to get the Stukov kill. And Tyrael trade value is going to nail the Stukov. Stukov thought he was safe. And uh, Tyrio comes in and gets the kill. It's going to be two for two, actually, because Blaze goes down in the meantime uh, to Sonya Jakebot here, proving why he's number one C West solo laner from season three. Uh, just getting free push up here. And wow, uh, surprisingly even here uh, with hashtag not throwing, proving that they can make this comp work somehow. <laughs> Uh, so we got Jake Bot up here. Oh, Jake Bot is in trouble. Here comes El Duque. Going to be looking for the stun. The slam comes in against the wall here. Jake Bot, he slams Jake Bot to safety, actually. Grayman tries to come in here, get the kill. Uh, El Duque, Diablo's uh, watching. If you have your E up, does not mean that you should use it. Uh, they allow Sony to go free, but they do get the camp cleared in time, and they're going to go ahead and clear that top lane. But meanwhile, this Puyamp pushing down, they get free 
push out of this fort here. And they have plenty of, they actually do have plenty of uh, structure damage with the Artanister, and they're able to get that fort. Um, so, wow. It's a tie game at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Meanwhile, they're going to go right into the Immortal. The Combustion comes out, but the Tyrael Judgment is there. D-Mark on taking a ton of damage. Apoc misses most people. The Silence comes out out of the Diva, but not able to keep him there. And Greymane taking a lot of damage. Diablo taking a bunch as well. As Node and Greymane and Ming, they're all low. The Leap comes out. They go down. Greymane dead. It's three for nothing as they do get the kills right away. I was saying, with this comp... Uh, not throwing needs to get their kills quickly, and with Judgment, Shield, and Leap, they're, and Orbital, they're going to be able to do that. Arania looking for Blaze in that bush, finds Blaze, and, and Diva's not going to give up here. Going to get another big shot air on a Pooper, but Pooper's probably going to be able to back off, and they have a camp pushing bottom onto this keep wall. This is absolute madness. They're going to go ahead and uh, get uh, to halftime, but every almost everybody is back up. They're almost to 16, though. It's 10 kills to 10 kills. And I'm going to look at the XP uh, difference here. That's APM. Um, they're going to go ahead and get a bunch of damages. Immortal Artanis is going to be able to rip this down very quickly. Jakebot uh, coming in as Sonya. They're going to have this done. Diablo trying to come in here and make something happen here. Gets blind out. The curse bill comes out. Jakebot flipped into danger. They're taking... Oh, Mingorb misses. The judgment goes on to the Stukov and Gregoris goes down. Jakebot in the meanwhile gets focused and it's a one for one. Uh... Bad Rudely is out of mana. Artanis gets slammed against the wall and goes down. El Duque taking a ton of damage, but the stun comes in from Blaze onto Bad Rudely. The Combustion trying to keep him there. The flip from... Oh, Diablo does not get the E backwards. The Iron Skin is in time. Uh, Diva's going to try and turn around, and El Duque, the uh, rest of Porkslap is abandoning Diablo, but no, Alberto's going to come in, and they're going to try and turn this around. El Duque's looking very low, but so is the rest of not throwing. Diablo goes down. Can they get the counter kill? They do. The trait value comes out. Just going to hit on Poober Gravy, looking for the kill on the Johanna, who has Iron Skin up. Meanwhile, the Immortal belongs to not throwing. Oh, Burrow getting 2 owed here. Uh, Blaze went ahead and just abandoned Greyman in that lane, and they kick him out as the Immortal pushes. I don't think it's going to get much more than this much wall, but... Uh Oh my god, I didn't... Ugh. I need to update my information. I just hit... I, I updated all the information. I had everything going just fine. And uh, I didn't hit the update button. I thought I had everything in order. And uh, of course, Murphy's Law says that uh, I'm going to forget something. So they're going to go ahead and get camps here. Um, boy, and it's... I would not, I did not think I would see this, but the all-warrior comp with no support here is winning this game. 17-16, to 16, but good news for Pork Slap is that this is the, a great time for them to come back. Uh, they're going to go ahead and grab this camp down here, but uh, Pork Slap needs to make something happen, I think. All right, we got Jake Bot Bad Rudy down here. They're going to four-man push this. Or Tanis is going to come get this camp all by himself. But they're escorting these Casa right up to this keep wall. And they could get a keep wall themselves. And it looks like uh, Blaze may be going in for the flank, trying to look for people in the... Uh... Oh, no, it's that was a... Uh... That was a disconnect there coming out from Blaze, but Blaze comes back just fine. Uh, once again, we remind uh, people that it's up to players to... Um... Uh, make their own pauses here. Uh, mortals come up, and both teams are just going to go ahead and race here. It looks like, no, it looks like not throwing, thinking about defending. No, they're both defending here. Excuse me. I had the colors mixed up. They're going to go ahead and both defend here as the Immortals are sort of on the wrong side of the map for both teams. Neither team really wants to engage at this point. And I have to say that uh, uh, that advantage belongs to not throwing if... 
Cork Slap decides not to engage. They're the ones losing out. They've got a, a bruiser camp. They've got a shaman camp pushing bottom. They've got to make a move quick. And now they're going to have to send Blaze back to go and try and uh, clean that up. And as soon as they see Blaze, they're going to go ahead and come here. Not throwing comes in. There's Sonia's, but the stun. Sonia spears right onto the stun circle, but leaps, tries to leap almost to safety, tries to spin to win, get, gets killed out. The orbital laser comes down onto Gregoris. Stukov not able to keep that science because of the orbital laser. But Tyrael tries to make the judgment happen, makes a one for one onto the Stukov. The trait uh, taking a huge chunk out of Li Ming, who teleports to safety. The big shot just barely misses over the wall. Meanwhile, Archangel focusing that immortal. Greymane trying to get as much damage as he can, but they're going to go ahead and uh, jun on out of here. But it's going to be a two for one in favor of Poor Seven. Here comes Steva. Uh, trying to get the combustion to try and get the Steva kill. The combustion whiffs, and Arnia is safe. Meanwhile, though, Greymane and El Burrow on this. Artanis, Artanis tries to fight as hard as he can. Dominance brings the health back to Li Ming. Uh, Arenia, Pilot Diva, the mech goes down, Pilot Diva goes down, and Porkset finally starting to get a, a hold onto this game. El Duque, almost out of mana, has to start backing. All right, they're going to go ahead and hold. Oh, oh, uh, Johanna throws the cheeky shield out to make sure everybody gets hit by the stun. Not really uh, that impactful, but uh, El Burrow definitely takes a good chunk of damage, but Stukov's going to heal that right up. Imagine imagine that, having a support. Uh, but they're going to go ahead and grab the Khazra camp up here, try and put a little pressure. Big wave pushing onto this keep. If they don't clear this out, this wave is going to take this keep, I think, uh, before too long, especially with the Khazra camp pushing onto all these minions here. They're going to go ahead and clear this out. No problem. And that... Mortal's going to be going top, too. So that's good news for them because that really is their weak lane with the... Wow, that keep is really taking damage here. Uh, Li Ming is backing for mana, but they are pretty late. Okay, they're not... They only get that about half down. The minions show up just in time to clear out uh, the fort here. And they are going to be pushing with this immortal this immortal about half down to half shields already you know doing a really good job of chunking it down they finally bring everybody in here d mark on looking for this sneaky uh flank here they push onto the fort here the blaze stun comes out into the combustion and a huge apoc nails three people Greyman is cleaning up archangel on the tannis goes down but here comes the judgment on the flank goes on to the Li Ming, but it's not enough the push from diablo kills him the orbital laser not enough damage to keep really get anybody and it's two down it's or up 20s and this could be the end uh here it's definitely this keep but it could even be the end here for this uh very uh how shall i put it uh, ambitious comp coming out from not throwing. So they promised they were not throwing and they're going to go ahead and waste this keep and the GG's are out. It's me four down. Jake bot. The only one left standing going to be spinning around trying to uh, make a valiant effort here at the end as the core goes down and pork slap takes game number one. Wow. That was incredibly incredibly entertaining uh for me and i hope uh, as well as the audience i apologize for the title and community being wrong uh but hey what can you do uh, a better job yeah that's the answer you can do a better job but uh i apologize for that so uh the next map we will be going to is tomb of the spider queen and this map was not even uh this map was not even not throwing's map pick, so I have to imagine they've got something insane uh, cooking up for us today in uh, on Tomb of the Spider Queen. So we're going to go ahead and get that uh, lobby created here. Da -da -da. Just got to find everybody in the list of people. Light to game. And invite to game. All right, there we go. Uh, this map is the choice of not throwing. Uh, but I am, uh, I think uh, Porkslap finally found their groove there at the end, which was nice. Uh, I don't want to, you know, they were able to keep their composure, but they started getting beaten. You saw they got scared for like a couple of levels. They were playing so scared.
Um, but let's see, we're going to have people coming in here. I've got to do a little reinvite as well. This is the uh, downside of solo casting, is you have to come in and create the lobby and everything. So uh, <coughs> there we go. We've got the captain in the lobby here. And yeah, uh, I'm very interested to see what's going on here but pork slap though uh i think they're definitely uh, a team to look out for in this division here they are able to handle that insane uh draft th being thrown at them and they you know said hey let's just you know let's just kill people uh they figured out they they were a little thrown i think by the tens you're not really expecting to see the the synergy of alts but they finally figured out uh what to do and they got a really some really really good engages there at the end um so it looks like we've got both teams in the lobby. Okay, let's see if everyone's ready to go into a uh, tomb of the Spider Queen here. Okay, we got gladiators ready. We got one ready to go. I'm going to do another one here. Um, Cho'Gall is my first thought, honestly. Like, with <laughs> these kind of uh, insane uh, drafts coming out from not throwing. I mean, Cho'Gall, maybe the Cho'Gall is too obvious. Uh, Murky, easily pickable here. Probius, easily pickable. Both, m even more likely. So we're going to see how they do here. Just waiting for that big old ready. And we're going to get into that uh, Spider Queen's tomb, which, you know, when I think about it, like, she's talking to you. Like, is she, uh, I guess, assume she's a ghost in her own tomb. You know, like, that's pretty sweet. Like, you die. And, I mean, you were the queen. You're probably a pretty good Spider Queen. She has pretty loyal web weavers. Uh and then you die, and then you're like, well, now this is just my house. I just trying to live here as a disembodied voice, and you get to watch Heroes all day. So, hey, that's a win, right? Okay. We're going <laughs> to... I had hoped that they would be ready by now, so... This, of course, is a best of two if you're new to NGS. It's going to be... Uh, teams get three points for a win and one point for a draw and no points for a loss. So Pork Slap could pick up their uh, first win of the season here. Establish themselves top of the D division so far in D East. Uh, and uh, Not Throwing could come in and say, hey, even with these crazy ass comps, we can we can win just the same. I'm trying to think what else they can pull out here. Uh, Jimmy's too boring, I think. Um, I can imagine another diva coming out from them. Maybe they go all supports this time. They had an all warrior this time. They said, oh, you know what? We could have used a support. Hey, let's just go all support. So we're going to see uh, what's going on there. And no word from them as of yet. Hmm. Okay. All right. There we go. And everyone is ready. We're going to go ahead and get right into Tomb of the Spider Queen. All right. And it's going to be first pick going over to the side of Pork Slap here. We're going to see what they ban out here. I, I What do you do against a team like this? Just I, Honestly, the, I think the actual answer is just play your game. Play how you would play against any team here. If you, if normally against a team you'd ban like Tracer or Maev or whatever, just keep doing it. Keep, keep playing your game. If they throw something crazy at you, you adjust. So... They're going to keep banning the Tracer. I like that coming up for Porcelain. Uh, if you know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So 
We're going to see what the ban is here. And and they are going to ban Phoenix. They may play a little more uh, standard. That could be the trick. Now, now they've gotten so crazy with the previous draft that standard is the new insane. So Phoenix being drafted out. Um, drafted out. Banned out even. They're going to pick up the Jaina immediately. Uh, Jaina, very... A little rough for our first pick here, but she is very good at clearing those waves. It does commit you to the mage very early and allows uh, some uh, counterplay here. But, uh, you know, I don't know that the team of not throwing necessarily cares about counterplay. They're going to they may play their own. Um, they're going to they may play their own plan no matter what. Or they may just, you know, keep going standard here. And, you know, we could see a Maya have. Uh, pick up here we can see him indeed pick up your who knows so we are waiting here for just i mean really are, are you sure uh or, or maybe they're trying to invent cheeses as they go they're saying oh you know hey how how would we make probius work how do we make uh samuro work on this map how do we make Gaslow work? Stukov and Nazebo here. Okay, so they are going to play a little bit more standard. Stukov and Nazebo coming out uh, for them. Nazebo could be a comfort pick here for not throwing. Maybe just want to play Nazebo. Nazebo's fun, I got to admit. We're going to see them come out here. The problem, the only problem with Nazebo is he's such an intensely late game hero. You really have to let uh, go a long time. Uh, he should have no problem getting his stacks on. Uh, what is it called? Vile Infection. He should have no problem grabbing his Vile Infection stacks on this map. So it, it, that could work out. And, you know, Nazebo Wall into Stukov Science is pretty good. And Sonia Stitches. I do love Stitches on here. Uh, stitches into Jaina damage is no joke, uh, along with the stun from Sonia Spear. So Stitches very powerful on this map, able to find a lot of uh, hidden areas. And, yeah, Malfurion banned out. They are definitely playing more meta this game for sure. Uh, ETC banned out here. They don't want to see the ETC. I could see a Garrosh here for some counter flips and counter throws. Stitches hook almost like a Garrosh flip in terms of displacement. Hmm. I don't know what you go here. You've got the Nazebo Stuke already. you got to pick up a tank. I would say Garrosh actually is a really good choice right here. Uh, you flip Jaina. Jaina's definitely weak. Doesn't have an escape. Uh, Sonya barely has. You can If you have more CC, you can stop Sonya from spinning. Um, I go for the Anubarak Chromie. So the good CC and Anubarak's able to burrow out if Stitches uh, hooks them. Chromie definitely has her own teleport and timeout and etc. So... Chroma to Zebo, def uh, no slouches in the damage department themselves either. A new barack, of course. Uh, Cocoon's always good. I don't see a completely obvious Cocoon target, but, you know, Cocoon targets can... Uh, you don't always have to have, like, this is the guy we're always cocooning. You can always, you know, you can decide uh, if they're, you know, later. But Zool being picked up here, very... Uh, interesting here coming out from Zul. Zul, of course, can just double clear like nobody's business and just keep pushing. Oh, here's the butcher. It's very surprising choice here, but I love the butcher coming out. There's our special surprise here coming out from team not throwing. Archangel going to be on that butcher there, so we're going to see how that works out for them. So it's the Nazebo Zul versus the Nazebo versus the Zul, rather, we're going to have a very uh, a specialist focused comp coming out from both of these teams here. I want the, the thing about the Butcher is that I don't know if you can keep him out, if, if you can keep him on his target. Butcher wants to be right next to his brand target. With the Sonya's, I mean, it's going to be excellent versus Sonya spin. Uh, but with the Jaina and the Zul root, Butcher charges in, Zul hits E, and you walk away. 
You know, if and Butcher doesn't immediately kill that person, or he could always charge on to Zul, uh, throw down his brand and throw down the uh, the lamb to the slaughter. But Stitches could hook him away. You know what happens actually if Stitches friendly hooks of uh, someone in brand? Do they get pulled all the way back and then snapped immediately back? I would love to see somebody test that. But it looks like everybody is loaded into this game. And over here, we're going to have on the blue side, hashtag not throwing with Archangel on that spicy butcher. D Markon on the Chromie. Jakebot playing the Anubarek. Uh, Arenia on the Nazebo and Bad Rudley on the Stukov. And over on the side of Pork Chop, we got El Duque on the Stitches, El Burro on the Jaina, Node playing the Rhaegar, Gregorus on that Sonia, and Zul being brought up by. by I keep wanting to say Spoober, but it's just Poober. I, I said Poo. All right, we're going to go ahead and start off here. Uh, Butcher going for the Invigoration here. Nazebo going for the Toad build, looks like. There we have the pause here. Looks like we have a rough time uh, for everybody here. So we're going to have a pause here. Look, Oh, it looks like a bunch of people leaving this game. I don't know if this is server trouble or what. But, um... <gasps> oh, goodness. I don't know why I just yawned there. But I do need to have a little drink from our sponsor. <laughs> okay, we're going to wait for uh, people to come back into the game. Yeah, okay, we are waiting for a team, in fact. Uh, hello, Ob, nice to see you here. Uh, oh my goodness, thank you, Bahamut Gaming, for the host. Huge host there from Bahamut coming out. And you've come to host us in... Uh, actually, you're not going to get the pause for a while, but uh, you've come to host us just in time, two minutes before a pause. Uh, we are waiting for people to reconnect here. Um, let me go ahead and start the timer. I don't think the timer is really going to be an issue for these people. I think uh, we're just waiting for people to reconnect here as they come through. And looking at the uh, looking at these comps here, it's difficult to decide which one is going to be better. I really think the Butcher is going to have a tough time getting value, especially if Rhaegar is on points with us clients. So excellent job by uh, in the draft there coming out from uh, Pork Slap for picking up the uh the a cleanse hero in Rhaegar. so we're just wondering that so uh so yeah stukov going for the in fact uh the growing infestation that silence is going to be huge for uh uh against sonia the silence is going to be big against jana and especially for zul zul comes in he gets silenced he can't throw down his damage uh, and leave zul's gonna it looks like Interesting. Uh, I don't want to uh, say it because uh, we are in a pause, but it's an interesting lane setup from both teams here. Uh, so I'm very interested, interested, interested to see how the rotation uh, is going to work out here for both teams. So here we are in the tomb of the Spider Queen. I guess we're fighting for the gold. That's in. You know, that's. You know what? Forget the Raven Lord. I actually want to know what. Uh, <clears throat> what the story is behind that spider queen and why she died and why her tomb is a place where her fight, her spiders fight each other. I actually guess it's just one per one per team. So the spiders aren't really fighting each other. So, you know, sometimes one goes on one side and the other side, and they just kind of wreck her own tomb uh, in order to get the gold. So, I do wonder what what that's all about, and if, and I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, the uh, Spider Queen tomb is actually underneath the uh, Sky Temple. So this is a not only the tomb of the Spider Queen, but it's also in the sky. So it could be called the Spy Tomb of the Spider Queen. Uh, so 
just imagine that sky temple and then everyone immediately goes underneath there and that's what we call luxoria so uh thank you bahamut uh once again i've got a big woo here from bahamut and we're all going to be entertained here during this pause here once again we've got pork slap versus not throwing pork slap up one game to zero uh everyone's all in order today i've got my tasty drink I want to welcome everybody uh, to NGS here for this game, uh, Pork Slap. And if you guys missed it, you, you definitely owe it to yourselves to go back and watch that VOD of the previous game. Not Throwing ran a five warrior comp into uh, Pork Slap, and Not Throwing dang near came away with that game. They lost it barely in the late game, um, but they there was a place there where they easily could have won uh, the video game there. Uh, it was Battlefield of Eternity, five warriors, no support, all tanks. Not all tanks, not at all, actually. In fact, I think they only had two tanks in that comp. So it's not quite as crazy as you think it is. The crazy part of it was the uh, um, uh, was the that they had no support, and the only real uh, like support they had was Tyrael, um, who didn't even go sanctification. Who went? Um, who really? Hit, Real, I don't think he could. I think their plan was to blow people up because they went judgment, they went leap, and then they went uh, orbital laser and blessed shield. So, uh, incredibly interesting game there. Uh, how hats off to not throwing for making uh, th my day as a caster for sure. Um, but uh, they're playing a little bit more standard on this map, although they have drafted the butcher here on this map. So as soon as uh, we get somebody reconnected here. We're going to see how that butcher fares. So stay tuned, everybody. Don't let this pause get you down. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think a little bit more about this spider queen here. Do you think, like, like maybe the Sky Temple dude killed her? I would like to see that battle. That would be a pretty sweet, like, PvE map would be the... the, the and who was the Sky Temple guy anyway? Does anybody even know? I don't I don't actually know like the sky temple I don't he's not the raven lord he's not the gravekeeper um then man this this place in the sky is just surrounded by all these insane gods and spider people who apparently are ghosts and are just sort of disembodied beings that inhabit these areas that's just crazy so I don't I don't even know uh and those jackals guys, like, uh, let's see. Um, okay, it looks like we may have a remake here. Okay, we're going to unpause, and they're going to see if players are in the match here. Uh, they're having a lot of trouble uh, getting these players in here. Um, uh, it looks like a gentleman's agreement here as as both teams are. I'm waiting for some acknowledgement here. Uh, it looks like he is not... Yeah, so I okay, but the team said on pause, but it uh, looks like Zul is still a bot here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the window here. Not you didn't miss much, just a bunch of clave clearing. I know it sounded like a lot, but it wasn't so. Um, it looks like the teams are okay with it. Zul just, I mean, he would have been a lane clear bot, and uh, no, he's not getting back in. It looks like uh, teams may call for a remake here. Um, Oh, Zulbot. Oh, you're so precious. Look at you pop that shield right there. Okay. We're going to remake. Okay. All right. Both teams have agreed to a remake, and we are going to quit this game. 
Okay, we are going to go back to Tomb of the Spider Queen here. Um, I th I do think we need to do it the draft the exact same just because uh, they're going to want the replay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remake the custom game here, Tomb of the Spider Queen. Get everybody in. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Okay, it looks like we're doing this post-haste here. Uh, I apologize, everybody watching. Stick around. This is going to be a very interesting game. You guys are going to get to see the draft unfold real time this time. Uh, very quickly, hopefully. And... Hopefully nobody has any more connection issues here. Okay. Oi. Man, people have been having trouble getting into the dang lobby. That's just madness here. We're having a real <laughs> issues here. And uh no, uh the the t the tomb of the spider queen lady and the sky temple guy are all nexus originals here. They are not in fact from the Diablo universe. Um uh, they are, and they will be on the block for those that lore stuff they are always talking about here. So, um, I'm gonna double check with admins here, uh, just in case. Um, I should have them redo draft. Okay, cool, cool. Same draft. Uh, we're going to go, 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 go. Okay. Here we go. Back into the Tomb of the Spider Queen. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is indeed a shit show, as somebody uh, on my chat two minutes ago posted. And we're going to wait for the players, and they're just going to just burn through this draft like crazy here um i forget it was i know it was tracer um i'm gonna re go ahead and remind the teams just in case they do not remember uh and then i forget what the dang first picks were so they should be able to remember their picks and we're gonna go 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 as we try to get this game over well, yeah jane it was first of course uh, and then what happened? Why can't I remember? Um, so yeah, no, yeah. Nazibo Stukov, although it was switched. Uh, okay. I'm just being a jerk. Uh, and then they grabbed stitches and, uh, I can't remember. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Zul was in the next what, uh, thing, but who cares? Uh, they're just going in order here. They're going to ban mouth and then they Went and banned, I forget who, but I'm sure they're going to get it right. Yeah, they banned ETC. Uh, so. Chromia Noob. Um, so, that's right, Sonia. And Rhaegar, and then we got the Butcher. Okay, and here we go into the game once more. We're going to see how things work out here uh, in this. Uh, yeah, you guys didn't have to really see that. I didn't have the scene on anyway, so 
it's all good. We're going to go back to the game and we're going to get right into it. Don't let it get you down. Division D East pork slap versus, excuse me, hashtag not throwing versus pork slap here in this game number two as hashtag not throwing tries to even up the series. So, as we saw, uh, we're going to go right into the Tomb of the Spider Queen, no problem. And just pretending like nothing ever happened here on the side of Hashtag Not Throwing. We've got D-Mark on, on the Chromie, Bad Rudely on the Stukov, Archangel on the Butcher, Jakebot on that Nubrek, and Arenia on the Nazebo. And over here on the side of Pork Slap, we've got Node on the Rhaegar, El Duque on the Excuse me, on the stitches, El Burro on the Jaina, and Poover on the Zul, and Gregoris is playing that Sonya. So we're going to see how they do things here. They're going to go ahead and start mid here, and let's take a look at the talents here. No real surprises here. I do want to see Cleanse coming up from Rhaegar at 7, ideally. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see... Uh, uh, Zul goes down. The hook goes on to RNA. It doesn't quite get on, but the hook damage, Elboro finishes it, and the Stukov Silence is not going to completely the zone him out, and that's a quick first kill here from Pork Slap coming right out of the gate here. Excellent job by them. Chromie is going to get some damage on Elboro and some some cleanse. Uh, oh, but the Butcher coming out of Zul getting a ton of damage, but the Root immediately goes down on Archangel, and Archangel is going to be... Uh, just fine, as is Poover. Sonia, meanwhile, up here, clearing that no problem. Chromie trying to get some damage. Uh, Gregoras grabbing both those uh, globes here. As they go ahead and start clearing this, and it looks like a clear level advantage here for the side of <coughs> Pork Slap. Poover taking a bunch of damage from the Nazebo. Nazebo easily, when it's saying Poover running out of mana, very quickly gets caught into the Nazebo while has to pop the shield. Uh, it's going to try and push these minions up, but uh, Poover taking a lot of damage. I don't... He does not... Yeah, he has tap up. And El Duque comes out, gets the pull onto Arania. Arania's going to back up, be no problem. Just get a little bit of poke damage onto the Nazebo here, allow Poover to come back in here. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Jake Bot. Uh, just clearing the same, trying to get his beetles into the lane here. Sonia doing a good job by herself up top here. Uh, I'm very sad, though, to see Zul down here in the soul lane. When you have Zul, usually you want to have him in both, in two lanes at once. Whenever Zul is not clearing minions, he is being wasted, so to speak. But Zul trying to get as much structure damage here. The problem is Zul doesn't have a whole lot of structure damage. It's the minions who do all of the damage. And so, see, right now, Poober could be up in the top lane clearing it could have been up in the top of the clear minions instead of getting the uh, structure damage here. It would have helped the team out a lot, but uh, he's going to go ahead and kill this. Oh, Poober getting real low here. Real tough uh, job dealing with Nazebo uh, here. I think uh, in the next talent tier, uh, Zul gets a better thing for laning. But, oh, the four-man gank goes on to Sonya, and Gregoris gets wrecked up top here. And that's another kill going over to the side <coughs> of... Uh, excuse me, not throwing. A uh, question in chat from a couple minutes ago. Why did they do the draft over again? Oh, big stun goes on to Rhaegar. Oh, a helping hand pulls no to safety. The chromie damage does land, but Rhaegar is going to be just fine here. I think he's got the... Oh, no, he's got the... He's going for healing totem. Uh, Janna going for frost shards here. Reaper's tail in, uh, going for the Q. And then in the uh, I like the friendly chat here coming out from Archangel Butcher here. Uh, <laughs> El Duque, the Gracias, excellent work there. So, yeah, it looks like uh, my ch question in chat has already been answered by the great Hari. Thank you, great Hari. In fact, join me next game. I'm going to do another game right after this. And great Hari is going to be joining me for the co-cast there. So uh, get, look forward to that. They try to find a uh, gank here in mid there's no luck here but looks like they may be rotating down the zool poover is going to come back out very low on mana doesn't maybe doesn't realize here comes the butcher charge and the poo is be uh curtains for poover is going to get stunned three times here and it is going to make it out alive just because of the shield the hook coming up from el duke el duke is very low on mana so they're going to uh, want to hold out both teams about the same number of gens and it's going to have the same number of gems probably in the banker. They make it a... Yeah, they're going to get a turn in Archangel, and they have nobody to interrupt uh, the 
totem goes down. Nothing really happens. Pooper thinks about throwing a Q out, but the first spider wave is going over to not throwing. And there's a big gank onto Rhaegar. Rhaegar gets caught out. No hook here this time from El Duque. El Duque is going to tap here and try to defend the spider wave as best as possible, but with a down a Rhaegar for the next 10 seconds. All right, we do have the cunts coming out from the Rhaegar. Here comes the stun onto the stitches. The damage, follow-up damage is there, but Elper was standing right in the follow-up damage, and Chromie manages to net more than she bargained for. Not more than she bargained for, more than she wanted. Uh, and Elper, ooh, taking a ton of damage from that spider wave, and Chromie almost uh, gets lethal damage onto that stitches. Uh, the hook comes out, doesn't quite make it. El Duque and El Perro take another spider wave. Uh, yeah, that wave hurts. You really got to watch out for that. And El Burrow is going to have to run back and uh, po possibly tap it. No, she's going to come up and push out. Sonia, meanwhile, is cleaned up top. No problem. And an excellent job here by uh, Pork Slab defending here. But Poober is looking real low. A stray Chromie spell could end. could be big trouble for Poober here. Uh, but they're going to go ahead and five man down here. They're going to go ahead and take this camp. I don't know you need four men to take this camp, but uh, Jake bot up here among three people and they get the turn in going to unstoppable out burrow charge to safety. Uh, and Zul going for track rules essence here. Uh, I don't know that it's helping a whole lot, but it's going to, it, Probably will help in the long run, especially with so many minions on this map. This map being so tiny, but Poober getting very, very low on mana. Doesn't even have tap for another 40 seconds here, so Poober could be in trouble. The wall comes out here. It's going to four-man bot. Here's the hook on the Arania. Not really going to be enough time for follow-up. El Burrow not in place, and Sonia got four-man ganked up top. Uh, the spider pushing in. They're going to go to clear it very easily here. The spider probably going to get this mid wall. Uh... With the Jaina damage, though, it's possible that they get Fort here. Poober still looking very low, but the hook goes on to Nazebo, and still no follow-up damage. El Burrow not there uh, to throw a Blizzard down. Blizzard probably on cooldown. Uh, I'd like to see Porkslap timing their hooks and Blizzards a little bit better, a little bit more communication between the Stitches and the Jaina players. Meanwhile, though, the Sonia player is back, and she's going to go back up top to her uh, lane here. Uh, and go ahead and clear this. And they're very, both teams very close to 10. So it's going to be a big race to 10 here uh, for both teams. And Zebo, though, has to clear out this uh, lane pretty quickly. These minions, these archer spiders doing a real good number on this fort here. Uh, meanwhile, Sony steps up top. No gank this time coming out for uh, not throwing. And they're going to get the tensor. No real surprise there. Butcher holding his all. Not sure if he's going to go for uh, slaughter or for the furnace or not. But they're going to grab this mid camp and they're going to start pushing in here. Neither team has a turn in here just yet. But both teams probably going to get try and get their gems in as quick as possible so that they don't have to do it later. Gorus pops. Uh, Wrath goes in for this and Zebo oh, misses the Q. Gregoris almost had the Q onto Arania, but Arania probably going to go down here and th tries to throw out the Gary here, but Stitch is going to surround him. Oh, almost finds the run of safety, but the totem and the zoning and the root are going to make sure that Nazebo die, but there's the rotation not quite in time. Uh, Butcher going to stay mid and clear up this camp as they simply surrender Nazebo to his death. Archangel up here going to back off. They try to make the rotate here to catch the Butcher. Booker makes that in time. Excellent heads up play there from Archangel on this Butcher here. Uh, we're going to have two quests completed here. Both Stukov and Jaina's quest are done. Uh, Zul clearing out the uh, minion wave here. El Duke is going to go ahead and turn in there. And it looks like Ooh, they don't quite have a turn in. Uh, both teams very close to a turn in, not quite there yet. It looks like uh, not throwing is going to move up and, and Pork Slap just moving as five at the moment, just death balling all over the place, trying to get some kind of edge. They're going to move in on this and Zebo Nazebo in trouble here. I don't think he realized this is coming. Gugoris comes in here. If Gugoris can get the uh, spear this time, and the wrath comes out and the hook goes down, and the Zebo is dead again. The rotation again, not in time. Uh, the chromium damage comes out, not able uh, to find anybody. The healing totem comes down. Everybody's back up to full. They've got themselves a turn in. They've got themselves a dead Zebo here, and they're going to have the spiders pushing here. For Pork Slap, the root goes down. 
down into Chromie. Chromie has to time out Zul all by himself, though. Almost gets turned around. The Chromie damage uh, misses. El Duque going to walk through that uh, slowing sands here. And Tent picked up. Bile coming out for Stitches. No surprises. Otherwise, Zul going for Skeletal Mages. Uh, Bile comes out for Stitches, trying to keep everybody there. Jakebot has to throw the cocoon down onto Stitches. A huge amount of damage goes into Jakebot a bit. A big trait from Stukov healing uh, gets him right back up to healthy. Stukov throws a silence in his zones. Everybody out. They still haven't turned in yet. Looks like they're trying to get possibly a camp turn in. Uh, <clears throat> before here uh meanwhile they're gonna try and get their own turn in and they do they beat the turn in they uh they don't stop they don't goaltend hard enough here on the side of pork slap as they grab themselves a camp here but looks like they're gonna try to engage butcher is a long way away and they have five up here in this middle lane trying to push against the spiders here zul clearing up the lane very quickly gary is out gary is dead uh nazebo's gonna back up into, uh butcher though meanwhile is ready to flank uh, should they decide to, Chromie shooting her spells from far away. They're going to go ahead and back out. They got the fort. They got what they wanted. Uh, and now they're going to have to bat, spread out and just get some spider damage here. Uh, Duque getting into the time trap. No follow-up there. Spider going to be taken out here. They may get this bottom fort. They are pushing as five around this bottom with just Pooper here. Does have the, the spectral scythe to try and get some poke damage onto here. But uh, not going to be able to really go up against five here. They're going to go ahead and, and clear up the top spread. They are going to forfeit bottom fort here. Uh, and they will probably have to rotate down here. Both teams at 13. Uh, they, yeah, they're not going to try and push for more. The spider is going to be given up. And that's it for the web weaver phase at the moment. But I'm not sure. Uh, Stukov, though, all by himself here. Really far away from the rest of his team. Lucky nobody is around him uh, to hurt him. So Bad really is going to be just fine. Uh, the foreman up here looks like they're looking for the turn in, but they're going to go ahead and uh, not throwing is going to step up and make sure they don't get in on this new rack watching the bottom turn in. And it, right now it's just about goaltending for them. They do have to watch out for this, the uh, random hook coming out from El Duque, especially on this map. He's very dangerous here. So they're going to go ahead and grab their camp. Third, second time is the charm as they try to get a camp and probably... Uh, try to gain themselves the turn in off of this camp push. Five men here mid uh, for not throwing and just kind of like bullying him off the side of the map here with their five men. And it looks like pork slaps are a little bit afraid to engage here uh, with a butcher and the chromie. Nazebo, though, as soon as Nazebo appears on this map, I think. Oh, gargantuan used way up top. Here comes a hook onto an Anubrak. Anubrak immediately bros out. The skeletal mages go down trying to catch chromie. Nazebo now making his way down. He is without Gargantuan. The uh, cocoon goes down, immediately burst. Uh, the Jaina damage uh, zones everybody out. But here comes the stun onto Stitches. Tries to keep the Chromie follow-up. Uh, Jaina, once again, trapped in that Chromie follow-up, gets chunked out. And they get the turn in, and they get the push. The camp, not going to be pushing quite with the spiders, but it's going to make sure the wave is pushed way up. But their waves are way back here, and they're going to have a long way to go here for the spiders. Nazebo up top here as Pooper comes up. is going to push along with the spider. I like the split. Very very rarely in this point of the game, I think, do you want to be pushing as five with the spider. But they're going to try and come through here. And Il Duque tries to find a, a slam at a hook on Arena. Nice dodge there by Nazebo by Arena. Arena? Arena? Did I say Arena? That's insane. That's nothing. Uh, El Duque, though, they're looking uh, as a five-man here. Zul has pushed up that wave as far as he can go, and they're going to push even harder. It looks like they're going to try and get themselves another fort here. Another fort's going to help them on their way to 16. Uh, and mid, not the uh, best lane. I would actually be pushing top if they want to be pushing five, but they're actually going to go mid and top. They're probably going to get both of these forts here. Excellent decision here coming out from Pork Slap. They're, in fact, going to get the mid fort here as they try to desperate. No, they don't. They save a sliver of the fort here. Uh, just barely didn't get it as pork slap clears up that spider. Uh, I wonder if they are going to send somebody over here to lag F this fort. Yeah. Pooper's probably going to throw a blizzard down on, uh, not Pooper. Um, Pooper's playing the Zool. Bro might try to throw a blizzard on it, but no, they're going to go ahead and get this fort. No problem here. They are top. They are bottom here. If they try to get this camp, they do need to be careful that they haven't started. Yeah, boss. Yeah, they're looking to start boss. They realize that they're bottom. And Pork Slap doesn't realize that it's happening. They're just trying to get the turn in. And once they uh, get the turn in, I don't think that they... Yeah, they don't quite have it. They're one gem away. 
And this boss easily going to be going over to not throwing heads up play, but then realizing they were bottom. The skeletal may just come out to try and get some vision. No luck there. They're going to steal this boss away. They could have gotten it with 16. And now 16 is going to be very quickly picking up, be picked up here for not throwing. So we'll finally complete his skeletal scythe switch. They're going to go ahead and burn this boss down. Archangel getting chunked out here. The uh, stitches hook. The stun coming in onto the... Uh, node here, Jaina in trouble here. Jaina, Rhaegar is going to go down. Butcher goes down. Meanwhile, though, sorry, that wasn't Jaina, but the Chromie damage chunking out Porkslap, and they're uh, getting in trouble. Stitch is so low, the brute, the tornado from the boss pushes Stitches away. Gregor is going to have to spear to the boss to safety, and that is a two for two uh, tie there, and that's probably pretty good uh, for not throwing they do get that boss heal meanwhile this is uh camp is pushing up bottom and actually i think uh not throwing is going to get less value out of that boss than the siege camp i mean they did get a fort to, you know but ultimately uh they have a wall uh here most of a wall and they only have a little bit of a wall up here on top so and they do have the turn in so pork slap despite those kills is looking pretty good that was an amazing uh combo there the butcher uh Chain synergy right onto the Rhaegar here. Rhaegar just a little bit too far up. Gets wrecked. Doesn't have cleanse on himself. Doesn't have ancestral on himself. Rhaegar always a target for those uh, uh, one one shots with a with a butcher uh, slam, etc. Spider's going to be coming up here for Pork Slap. They're going to burst. Not that he's going to burst. This spider down. Wrath comes out, gets a big chunk onto Butcher. And Archangel of Trouble gets super slowed by the 16 Town of Totem. But the Chromie damage follow-up is there. The Ring of Frost roots three people, I believe. Jake by in trouble, but he's going to back out here as Pooper has to back up away out of that Slowing Sands. Excellent Slowing Sands placement there by Crony. Elbro, a lot of poison damage here from the Nazio. And the Chromie damage almost kills. And the Jaina does indeed go down from the Nazebo damage, the Chromie uh, plays from Demarcon are on point. Huge plays from him. And the captain not throwing, but this keep is in trouble. You've got a huge push on here. And uh, let's see if they can clear it out. The spider is, in fact, almost there. They're going to clear it out, no problem. But that keep is going to take half damage, and the keep bottom is going to go down. Even Nazebo can't stop that. And despite losing Jaina, they do just trade one for one, and I think that is ultimately a victory uh, for Porkslap. Getting that keep and going up in this game is still a close game, still anybody's game. And with Nazebo, here's where it starts to kick in. I said the problem with Nazebo is that he is a late-game hero. He is almost a 20, and we're going to check out the stacks here. 187 stacks, so as soon as 20 gets online, he's got that uh, vial infection ready to go his poison damage now applying to heroes uh and so he is going to be a terror at 20 once they reach there so pork slap don't have a turn in they don't have boss for a minute 30 they really have to make something happen i would like to see with nazebo pushing here they need to make a move here they got to be waiting they got five people here nazebo's not there what are you guys doing go 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 Oh, no. Instead, they back up. They're going to go ahead and clear this camp here. And, wow, that was a wasted opportunity. They are going to get a turn in here. They aren't even contesting a turn in. Poor Slap needs to be more aggressive right now. And they're being very patient here. But Nazebo's still trying to clear this thing. And here's the fight that they want here. The five man goes down here. The Wrath comes out. Jakebot tries to get a stun. Doesn't get anybody. Finally, the Q comes out. Butcher tries to come in for a flank. It's the 5v4. But the Chromie damage is too much. The Ring of Frost comes out, though. And Butcher is going to go almost down the brand keeps him alive as stitches and sonia go out for butcher uh 4v5 and the two for one goes over to the side of not throwing an amazing team fight here an amazing butcher play coming out there manages to get the brand poor slap doesn't back off the brand in time and they get the web weaver turn and all without nazebo who is just getting those stacks he's up to 200 and 20 is almost coming here 35 seconds before stony and stitches are coming up here the only good news for pork slap here is that their top lane and their bottom lane are very pushed out, but Poober trying to push out way too far, gets pulled out here, tries to get a root down to the Jake, but the Ancestral comes out, it is going to save him in time, as Poober escapes with his life, but that's a heroic down here for 
uh, the cooldowns are bugged, but the it's 100 seconds without Ancestral. They are probably going to get top keep here. Uh, but the good news for Porkstep is they're going to be able to come back and fight this. So the bad news for them is that they are now fighting into a level 20 Zestibo who is stacked up to 215 stacks with Vile Infection. I was going to say, I was looking at the 20 for half a second. I thought, what if Nazebo doesn't go Vile Infection? I would die. Uh, but no. El Duque tries to get this uh, hook onto Chromie. The Bile comes out, though. Uh, gets the uh, the wall onto Gagors, but Gagors gets slapped out of it by Pork Slap, and Bad Ruli is going down here. They're going to get the kill onto Stukov. Butcher not able to show up in time. Archangel finally coming down. The Zebo damage is starting to chunk everybody out. Arania uh, almost dead. Deer Mark on very low. Everybody is super low. The ring goes down, kills Chromie and Zola. It's a two for one. The the min, the the ring finds somebody with a center root there. And that is going to be a five man wipe in favor of Pork Slap. And they. Can they core here? They've got a Jaina and the Ancestral. I, the, but the bottom wave is pushed all the way out because of the of the spider. I think they're gonna, just going to try and go here for keep. Just go around. Just go around the keep. Oh, no. Uh, it's going to be a lot of time here before they can do much. Uh, the healing totem goes down. They're going to probably make quick work of this keep, but it's only 13 seconds, but it's just Stukov back. So they've got a full 20 seconds before any damage dealers are back, but this is going to be only three people. I don't think that they have the damage to core here. Yeah. I don't, even if they had gone around the keep, which I mean, in my haste, I yelled that out very loud, but uh, probably not smart. And they're not going to be able to get much out of here. They're going to have to back up here and get boss. And maybe they should have done that in the first place because uh, it's very possible that if they don't kill this boss quickly, it could be the throw pit for them. And they could be coming back from the five man wipe. Here comes all of the team. Bad really trying to stay off the map. Finally appears, gets that minion wave. I don't know if they realize that they're on boss. D Mark on going to check that out. Uh, yeah, no, El Duque trying to stand guard here. Here comes the thing. And they, they're going to give that boss up. The hook comes out, and it's going to be another 5v5 here. Another extra life. Another extra life. An extra life here for not throwing as this as they equalize everything out. No keeps down, though, for not throwing as they did keep their keep intact. They uh, Porksab smartly fought in front of it, but the boss, always a threat here, and nobody has a turn in. They're going to try and push this camp on here. They're going to, in fact, go and go ahead and put them. Stitches this time doing the smart thing, making sure nobody, uh, he can see people. Uh, keep an eye on people that may be going for boss El Duque, maybe looking for a hook right here, trying to find out where everybody is, but is a case of dueling camps here. And Parksup doesn't know what they want to do. They're just biding their time here, trying to keep uh, tabs on everybody. Nobody has a turn in. Um, they could try and turn in the 29 gems, but to what effect? They do have a camp pushing bottom. This camp is going to be the one to watch here as they need to have put some pressure and they need to, uh, they're going to have to wait for them to go back before they can clear it out. And, if I were them, I would clear this camp. And yeah, see, you needed to be, I think, doing up on boss earlier, posturing. Once they show bot clearing this camp, you start boss, you burn it down uh, with your Jaina damage. Uh, but this, that's not going to happen for them. Uh, four man coming up and is evil right far behind. I don't think they realize that they're five man pushing it. They're going to try and get uh, a couple gems turned in just for safety, I guess. Not really doing a whole lot, but it is a five man pull here. And. Yeah, Porksup just does not want to fight here, of course. They're trying to avoid these fights at all, if at all possible. She's just maybe looking for a hook and trying to engage, but uh, their core is under attack, and they may be posturing for Boston. I think I would start threatening back door uh, if I am Pork Slap here. Yeah, the Zebo does have to go back. They do have an eye in the Zebo, and here's the point where they want to start fighting. But remember what happened in the last 4v5? Pork Slap may be too afraid. Uh, to do anything. Archangel waiting in the flank. It's a dangerous butcher flank coming out. The big root goes down in the Stukov. The ring goes down and uh, Stukov is just deleted. But meanwhile, in the back, butcher goes down, throws a limb. Five man lamb of the slaughter. Archangel with the big place. Uh, silence comes out as Storm Shield finally comes up. Ringer keeps everybody alive. Butcher had everybody silenced and everybody could have gone down. The chromie damage is not there in time. Rhaegar slamming his, uh, what button is it exactly? I have to know. Uh, the chromie damage comes out there, but chromie dies and it's just in Zebo. And I think this is going to be game going over to pork slap here. Um, uh, node. Let uh, me get the Rhaegar here. 
uh, no, just slamming his three button there in that lamb of the slaughter. The slam of the slaughter finally expires. Everybody gets storm shielded. The Rhaegar saves the day, but wow, Nazebo doing a ton of damage. Is the Nazebo core defense real? No, I think everybody's just a little bit too healthy. The storm shield comes up once again, and this is going to be game number two going over to Pork Slap. Pork Slap takes the win. An excellent game there played by both teams. Very exciting uh, game for both these games. This game, 100% worth the wait uh, for for that uh, remake. I'm so uh, grateful, though, to not hashtag not throwing for waiting out that uh, that reconnect, allowing Pork Slap to remake that game. It was so much fun. Um, Uh, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can get a uh, uh, an interview with the, uh, the captain here. Here, uh, as we uh, finish this game out. And it's going to have to be a very quick interview because, but because of that... Uh, um, Okay, uh, we're going to get on the uh, horn here. Um, ba -da -ba. I'm going to make sure that um, this microphone is, in fact, the one being used. Uh, and we are in <coughs> the lobby here. We are simply waiting for the players. But excellent uh, uh, fight coming out there. What a great fight there. Uh, for both teams, they're an amazing uh, five-man lamb of the slaughter by Archangel, but unfortunately uh, not able to make it. And we do have uh, Gregorius and Pooper in here for a post-game interview. Well played uh, there. You guys take that win there. Um, how are you feeling about your first game in NGS? <laughs> excellent excellent um so hey uh you guys are the first victims of oh and we have el duque in here as well uh you but you guys are the first victims of the hashtag not throwing what i i have to assume is going to be memes for the rest of the season there uh with the five-man warrior comp what were you thinking after those first three picks <laughs> yeah. At at <laughs> definitely did you guys think about Tychus after that? <laughs> uh, to be fair, you guys had a little bit of a scare there in in the mid game there. Uh, it looks like you guys were playing a little bit more cautious after you got blown up a few times. What were, what was the comms like during that game in that part? <laughs> oh, fantastic. I'm very glad to hear that. Uh, second game uh, there, you guys, I think that was not your uh, map choice, but you guys uh, did a really good job uh, uh, holding it down there at the end. Uh, you guys lasted a long way into the late game. Uh, I'm going to ask you a couple things. First, uh, that five-man wipe, um, were you guys uh, thinking core or boss? You guys just wanted to make sure to get that keep first, or what was the what was the call like there? Yeah, yeah, you're on. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Apparently, uh, Discord is not going out to my desktop audio here. <sighs> Oy. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, say something. Whoa, that's that's your side. Uh, okay. That should do it. Sorry, Duque and Burrow sit in the same room, and I think it was actually El Burrow who's just speaking there. Um, but yeah. okay, uh, you guys, you guys are indeed on the. Uh, you guys can now be heard here. So um, just to, to quick sum up, uh, I asked you guys how you felt against going against that warrior meme comp. You guys said you guys simply stuck to your plan and uh, were, were able to beat it. No problem, right? Pretty much. Okay. Uh, we were expecting, yeah. Tier, we knew it had to be a dive. Yeah. So that definitely worked a couple of times when you saw that mid-game where we kind of took a break, stepped back a bit, because we knew that the healer and the mage were really just going to get hammered by that Tyrael. Okay, cool. Uh, and then finally, you guys, uh, in this map, um, I'm going to have you repeat what you said about uh, getting that uh, that call after the five-man wipe on Tomb. Uh, basically, we knew that we wanted to do a core push, but we were also terrified that with three people, it wasn't going to work. So get the keep, get the value. We were hoping to rotate to the boss quick enough. And uh, unfortunately, my stitches was a little bit slow to get up there. <laughs> so once we saw them reappear on the map, we just decided rather do one more fight rather than risk it on a throw for the boss. Awesome. Very cool. And then uh, finally, that, that Lamb of the Slaughter. Uh, uh, do we have Node in, in chat? I didn't see. No, he actually is a little bit embarrassed, um, but oh, uh, he might. I'm sure he'll watch the VOD later. He's a big Twitch guy, so. Oh, that's fantastic! I mean, he. I think he really saved that. He was just slamming that storm shield button. You guys uh, barely survived that lamb to the slaughter there. Uh, that did that feel good? It did, especially earlier. I know we got caught out when both our warriors had died between lamb to slaughter and the Stukov silenced, and the Chromie was just doing incredible damage. So that that was nail biting at the end. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, well, you guys did an awesome job there in your first NGS game. Uh, any shout outs? To our other member that couldn't make it here tonight. And shout out to the other team. This was our first one, so great matches. If that is all, uh, that is going to be it for us uh, for this match. Uh, we're going to have, I'm going to update the score here just so it shows up in the VOD. Uh, it is, in fact, 2-0. to zero. Pork Slap takes a 2-0. -oh. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Okay. And uh, that is going to be it for this match, but we are going to have a match immediately afterwards. I'm going to restart the stream with a new title, with a new team, and we are going to... Uh, be right back, so stay tuned.